Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel uh, and welcome back to Stories on the Spot. Uh, today we are on episode 4 I believe of Stories on the Spot um, and I've decided that I will not... My dog's gonna escape, I can hear her. <laughs> Anyway, um, I, no one's ever really gonna watch these, but I would like to make stories, here she comes. I can hear her. Oh my God! That's not good. Please get out of the garden. I tried filming outside and then my dog kind of went psycho and I had to relocate so at least there's a cat in the background now um how you doing Luna she doesn't want anything to do with me anyway as I was saying I'm not stopping this series until I am at 394 videos why is that I don't know I just randomly came up with that during the day today when I was thinking about the series and looking for writing prompts. And speaking of writing prompts, the one for today is, and I've memorized it, kind of, bear with me, it's write about a story uh, in about in the in a summer afternoon in a tree house. It's from Reedsy uh, prompts because they do they do short story competitions every week. And I'm planning on actually um, submitting a story that I come up with today, except I'm going to extend on it. So we'll see what comes of that. Anyway, let's actually get started with the story. So it was a sunny summer day. That's very, that's already, this story is already annoying me. Uh, it was a bright summer day, the sky, it was a bright summer day, the sky was clear, the sun was shining through the roof of the high tree house. It was, I was alone up there, reading a book. It was peaceful, the breeze was on the warm air, the hot air. I don't know, bro. Luna, do you know? I don't know either. So, I was reading a book. What book? Um, a book. I was reading a book and I was sitting on my, I was laying on my back with the book held above my face. Um, I heard distant giggling of children down the street from me. The treehouse was, I looked over to where I could see them on the children playing on the street. I smiled to myself. It was, it was always nice being able to be this far up and just see people going about their daily lives. The treehouse wasn't too far from my house. It was in the bush behind my street, behind my state. The neighborhood kids had built it a decade ago before I was old enough to do that, but it's stayed there since then. It was the tallest tree in 
the bush. We can see everything from there all the way to the school down the road. Do you like the story, Luna? I hope Luna likes the story because she's probably the only one that's actually going to be listening to it. I settled back into the fluffy, big pink and blue cushions. When, just as I had done so, I heard creaking of the ladder up to the treehouse. I crawled over to the hole in the floor of the treehouse, but before I could stick my head over to see who was the who was climbing the ladder, two identical heads popped up. My two younger brothers, brunette, identical brothers with freckles dotting their face, their faces. Um, they decided to join me and make a lot of noise. So my peace and quiet head is now over. I tried to go back to reading my book, but my brothers wouldn't stop questioning me. Why was I up there? What book am I reading? What? Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework? Uh, why don't you, why aren't you hanging out with friends? Do you even have any friends? <laughs> I mean, same. Anyway. Oh, she's, she's going to see. Sleepy kitty. Anyway, I got distracted by my adorable cat. So, I just huffed and turned away from them, trying to ignore their annoying questions. Slowly, the children's chatter became closer and closer to the treehouse until the three there was three kids, friends of my brother's, were up there. Now, five kids had interrupted my uh, reading. I'm trying to think of something else. Like, I know how I want this to go, but it's very short this time. <laughs> um, hmm. They decided to take the board games that we stored up there. The other neighborhood kids, the friends of my brothers, were had brought up snacks for them all to share. I placed myself instead at a window uh, at the treehouse, just far away enough so I wouldn't fall out of the, tr the tall tree. There was a small seat like a bay window, is that what they're called? Like a, that, I got, I get that from Girl Meets World. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I think it's called a bay window. Anyway, uh, I placed myself at a bay window and I watched, and I, for a few moments, I watched as the sun was setting over the, Slowly setting over the horizon. Taller figures were approaching the treehouse now. Uh, with pizza. You know, who doesn't love pizza? The figures approached together and I counted two of them. And I slowly stuck my head out the window and called down to them, urging them to be faster because I was surrounded by a lot of annoying kids. Um, <laughs> and they um, laughed at me and agreed that they need to hurry up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh, I'm gonna have to do an extended version and I'll read it <laughs> on camera. The 
aroma of pizza slowly wafted up the treehouse as my two best friends, Caleb and Amira, uh, brought up some pizzas for the night. Um, you know, I intended for there to be a bigger conflict than her being interrupted. And did I come up with that? No. I... Um, helped them set out... I helped them set out plates and drinks for the kids and for all of us and we ate the pizza yeet I will never say that again I'm so sorry anyway I need to stop saying anyway as well oh my god I set my book down in one of the drawers that we keep the storage in the treehouse and look around to all my neighbors and friends and family basically all the same things why did I say all of that I'm not sure and I smiled to myself there was nothing better than being surrounded by um, those who you grew up with are you sure about that though I'm kidding Lillian if you're watching this I'm so sorry anyway <laughs> anyway again Oh my god! Okay, so I think that's the ending. <laughs> okay, on a evalu valuation, what I need to do better for these storytelling things is better endings, better conflict, as in better rising action. Do you get the gist of what I'm having a problem with? Is basically the main part of the story. So. Thank you for coming to my TED talk and I please subscribe, like and comment on any writing prompts you guys would like to see me do in the next video and we're not stopping until we get to 394 videos. We'll still continue because this is actually quite enjoyable, I like seeing my progress. So um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!